Welcome back to the Diamond K Show here on RadioOnFire.com. Thank you for joining me. Every day I'm here unpacking political, social, and entertainment topics. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, hit the like button. It really helps the show. And uh, without any further ado, let's dive in. So Jesse Smollett still hopes to be publicly exonerated. That is uh, what the reports are. So he is focusing uh, on his work in L.A. Uh, Spokesperson said to the Chicago Sun-Times that he understands many people still may have doubts but he hopes once all the information comes out he will be vindicated in the minds of the public wow (laughs) talk about delusional the 36 year old actor has been living in la since the prosecutors in chicago dropped all 16 felony disorderly conduct charges against him after he was accused of faking a racist, homophobic attack. The Empire star is reportedly anxiously awaiting the airing of this Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday's episode. This is the last one that he filmed before he was charged. So this will will be his last episode on Empire for this season. And... He is very excited about it. Now, you may wonder, why Why would he be so excited? He's uh, leaving the show. It's going to be his last episode on the show. What does Jesse Smollett, the liar, have to be excited about? So, uh, here, here's here's why Jesse is excited. Of course, we know Jesse, Jesse is openly gay. Okay, no big deal there. And he is excited because his character on the show, Jamal Lyon, who is also gay, Jesse Smollett, the actor, is very proud of the wedding episode that's going to happen this week. Spoiler alert for the people that watch uh, Empire. Uh, And it's going to make history as it's going to be the first time that uh, two African-American men have been married on television. That's going to happen this Wednesday on Empire. So that's that's what he's so excited about. That's why uh, he is so happy. He says, this was an emotional time for me because I lobbied for this wedding to happen for so long. Now, here's the thing about, about Jesse Smollett and, and for, uh, you know, the, the LGBT community uh this is probably a great milestone for them but here's the problem that uh the lgbtq community has you got jesse smollett amongst you right so we have to take everything he says with a grain of salt every every time jesse smollett speaks or says something or says something through a spokesperson we gotta look at it like this We don't know if he's telling the truth or not because Jesse Smollett is a liar. Jesse Smollett quite possibly put the whole nation in jeopardy with his antics. He's a drama queen. And I just just don't believe anything he says. Even Jesse Smollett can say right now here in Baltimore, it's raining outside. I got to look out the shades. I wouldn't even believe Jesse Smollett. And it's supposed to rain today. So, I mean, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show, at Radio on Fire. Thank you for joining me. Please help the show, hitting the subscribe button, hitting the share button, hitting the like button. Instagram, as I said, Facebook, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show. I communicate back and forth to people. You may not agree with what I'm saying. You may agree with what I'm saying. It's all good. I love to talk to people. As I said, social media, comment section, all that. If you miss any episodes of the show, radioonfire.com slash Diamond K. I will see you guys tomorrow.